How you doing everybody? I hope you're all well. It's Wednesday, it's the 24th of November 2010. And uh, it's a beautiful day, and a beautiful day outside here in Ireland. And uh, I don't really know how to start this, to be honest. Uh, so I'm just, just bear with me, will you? Um, I, I really just want to talk about a concept that came up over the weekend and the concept is because it's it's really uh, it's really at one of the cores of our problems people were asking me, a couple of people asked me what, what, what do I think has to be done and I said well there's an immediate thing to be done and that is we have to have an election, a general election and we have to get rid of this this crowd that's in power. But we have to do something else. We actually have to crush these people. We actually have to crush them. And they were a bit they were a bit aghast when I said that. What, what do you mean like? And I said, well, these people believe they own Ireland. And I said, they believe that because they think Ireland is the island that we live on. And I said, Ireland is not the island that we live on. That is the difference. That's the mindset. That is the reason we are in the situation that we are in. They believe that the country that we live in is Ireland. The geographical country that we live in is Ireland and it is technically but it's only in a geographical sense in a real living social political economic sense Ireland is its people Ireland is its people if you take the people out of Ireland Ireland's nothing it's a dead waste it's a beautiful waste but it's a dead waste Nothing happens. They have controlled our country, this Fianna Fáil crowd, 73% of the time since its inception. Imagine 400, over 450 years it took to get rid of the English, the imperial yoke. So by 1922 they were gone. We were left on our own to defend, our, defend for ourselves in the world. And the same crowd, the same Basically the same crowd have been in power for 73% of that time and have brought us to this. We're international bankers to say the future of our country. We're, we're faced with a mountain of debt to which there's no answer. There's no answer to it. How can a country that has a GNP of 120, 130 billion per annum and it has an income, the state has an income of around about 31, 32 billion. How can it get rid of a debt of 275 billion? How can it do that? Somebody please explain that to me. That's the reality of the situation we face. So this all has to be done in careful steps as far as I can say. And the first step is we have to get rid of this government, this Fianna Fáil stroke green government. But in getting rid of them, we have to teach these people, in particular Fianna Fáil, because I, I consider these Greens to be a total irrelevancy. I, I think they're just jokes. I, I think they're just joke people. But these Fianna Fáilers are not a joke. And they will cling on to power as long as they possibly can. And this business about having a general election in January. Let's see if we have a general election in January. Let's see. It may not happen. These people are all liars. Imagine they lie, they get up and in the dollar in our parliament they lie to the people and to, their, to the opposition and the opposition don't do anything about it. Anyway, the bottom line about it is that's the situation we're in at the moment. Our sovereignty is, our sovereignty is truly gone. You know I've been saying that for two and a half years now, for nearly 250 of these videos that this would all come about and when it happened I never wanted to believe it. I considered it, I thought about it. I never wanted to believe it. I never really believed in my heart of hearts it would come to pass, but it has come to pass. And it's all based around one, the big concept being 
They don't understand that Ireland is its people. The, pay, the whole people of Ireland, all of the people of Ireland, the farmers, the fishermen, the, the factory workers, the unemployed, everybody, the rich. No, no. They have made their bed with one group of people. Just one group of people. They get into bed every night with just one group, an elite group of people. That's all. And they think they own the geographical country that's Ireland. And they've total disregard for the people. They don't give a flying shit about the people of Ireland. So what we have to do is we have to, t we have to tell them, come this election, what we really think. Because you see, if we don't destroy these people, there is no future for Ireland. You have no principles. You have no ethics. You have no morality. You have no base to which to move forward. And the base to move forward is really simple. We have to end corruption, political corruption, and we've got to end political cutehurism. And once you do those two things, you have a sound basis to move forward. People try and complicate matters. We live in a country there's only five less than five million people in it. It's the size of Birmingham. In a real sense. It's Birmingham spread out over 360 miles by 120 miles. That's what it is. It's Birmingham spread out, that's all. We've got to downsize government dramatically. Government influence in Ireland is huge. It's like a nanny state. We've got to downsize it dramatically. And we've got to get people back to work. We've got to devise a five year plan to get 250,000 people off the dole. And, and that's another real simple matter to do that. That's really simple. But we've got to end corruption. We've got to end cronyism. We've got to introduce a level playing field for everybody. When you earn a small amount of money, you pay a small amount of tax. When you, pay, when you earn a large amount of money, you pay a large amount of tax. It, nothing could be simpler. But the, the first step in all of this is we have to get rid of this crowd that's in power. It's, it's dead simple. It's really, really simple. And we have to forget about the notion that they have perpetrated and that they have encouraged and they have uh, propagated that Ireland is this uh, East Clare with waves breaking over it. I played the music here and you can hear it. This really should be our national anthem, this Misha era. I pl I'm playing it here in the background as you can hear it. The bottom line about it is, Ireland is her people. We have given to the world. We've helped build the world. We've got to stop it now. We've got to try and build our own country just for once. Just for once.